Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all know what time it is. It is time to have some absolute crafting fun. Y'all stay tuned. So guys, we are full-blown Christmas this week, and it is all about the traditional colors of Christmas. We are bringing it back, and it's gorgeous. Today, it's going to look a little bit familiar, but it's going to be different. Here it is. It is a Mrs. Claus notebook, and I cannot tell you guys how gorgeous this is. My picture is not doing this justice. So earlier we made the Ho 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 Mrs. Claus bag and now we've got a notepad that we can actually put in there with it. And when you open it up, this is how gorgeous it is. And this time I did something different. You guys have been asking for a refillable notebook and I decided, okay, I'm going to make it refillable and we will go over that process. It is very similar to the process that I used um, a week or two ago when I made the refrigerator magnet notepads. But isn't this gorgeous? Isn't this so gorgeous? I love everything about it. It is just so traditional. And I used one of the little um, tags that I showed you guys earlier that I got from AC Moore. They're sold as tags, but I'm using mine as ephemera and embellishments. And this works. It is gorgeous. But the outside, oh my goodness, red paper, that fun fur here, and then we've got my gold lettering, which is really just from a sticker set, and today I am going to use silver, and it's going to be just as stunning. This is truly a craft fair seller. You have these out on the table, and you are going to drive them crazy. Imagine this with the bags. Oh my goodness. Glory, glory. This is just absolutely fabulous. So let's make it. To make that beautiful notebook, we are going to need two pieces of chipboard that measure five and a quarter by eight and a fourth. I am using chipboard, but you can use any type of boarding that you want. Chipboard is my thing, but if it's not yours, um, just feel free to substitute whatever you have. But you will need to make sure that you cut your pieces, two pieces at five and a quarter by eight and a fourth. And then you're going to have a spine that measures one half by eight and a fourth. And then we're going to have our large piece that measures 10 and a quarter by 12. And then we have the liner piece for this project and it measures eight by 10 and seven eighths. Then we have a piece that covers our notepad and it measures five by four. We have some notepads and I believe I got these from either the Dollar Tree or um, Walmart, can't remember which one, but you get three in there and they're five by eight. So use whatever pads you're able to find. And of course we've got this fabulous, fabulous fur trim. And then for me, I am going to use stickers that I got from Tuesday morning. But if you have a die cut, you can certainly cut these out. I like the thickness of these stickers, but by all means you can use whatever it is you want to use to get your lettering. So let's get started on doing this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take one of my five and a quarter by eight and a fourth inch pieces. So when we place our board down, we're gonna be very tight for space on the side. So we're looking at about half an inch in spacing. And then I'll take my spine and I'm going to place it down. And I will place it about an eighth of an inch from this piece. And I used glue on my spine because I didn't have my thinner tape out. So I'm using my reptile glue and I'm spreading that down. And then I'll take my second piece of board and I'm going to put that down using about an eighth of an inch in spacing. And then I'm going to come back with my finger blade 
and just remove some of that excess paper. And now I'm just going to take this, stand it up, like you guys always see me do, and basically I'm bending my paper because I'm going to need to fold it over. But before I can fold it over, I'm going to need to miter my edges. And that simply means that I'm coming across and I'm gonna leave myself about an eighth of an inch so that I can fold these corners. Okay, so then once I have my edges mitered, I am simply going to take my tape, place that tape down, spread it out. <clears throat> then I'm gonna lift up my tape and show you how I do one and then I'll do the others off camera. So I've got that down. I'm gonna come back and smooth that out. And I will repeat this on the other three sides. All right guys, so I have all of my corners folded over. I have added tape to the rest of the book. And now I will remove my last strip of tape. Bring in my liner piece, which measures 10 and 7 eighths by eight. And I'm just gonna place it down just to make sure it fits before I actually glue it down, and it does. So all I'm going to do at this point is take my glue, and I want the reindeer showing this time. So I am going to take my glue, give myself a good bead of glue going around my edges. And then we will put this down. So I am going to take this, place it down. Let me just take a look before I do. Get this nice and centered. And I didn't quite get it as centered as I want, but that is okay. I'm gonna come back with my paper towel to get this stuck down. Then I'll come back with my bone folder. And I'm really working that glue in, guys. So I am going to bring this up and work my spine to make sure that everything stays stuck. Don't want anything coming up on our project. And then I'll turn it the other way. I'm gonna work that spine. Okay guys, so then we're gonna bring in our two pieces that measure two by six. We're gonna fold it in half to make it one, and then we're gonna glue it closed. And this is just giving us a very stable, um, pad holder so that as we replace pads the actual straps won't fall apart because they're too thin and flimsy and if we double up we can definitely avoid that happening all right so once we've got it folded we are going to place it in the scoreboard and we are going to score this at three eighths on both ends so three eighths and then I'll turn it again at three eighths and then we're going to fold this, give it a good burnishing. And then we're ready to put these down. So I've already done one and we're ready to place it in the book. So the way that I place it is I am going to bring this down about an eighth of an inch from the top. So let's go ahead and place our glue on this. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you let this dry before you put your pad in. And I'm gonna take this and make sure that when you place it, you're placing it so that it is not on the fold of your spine. So I'm gonna put this in just like this. Get that as straight as I can. And I'll come back with my bone folder. I'm gonna get this stuck down. And then I'll take my second one and I am going to place it towards the bottom because I don't like for my pads to flop around. So I am going to place glue on this and glue on this. And then we will place this down. And I don't know if you guys remember the refrigerator notepads that I just recently did, but this is the same process. So we're gonna get these stuck down. So while this is sticking, we're gonna go ahead and work on our notepad. 
So I'm going to bring in my notepad. I'm going to bring in my reindeer paper because I want to place this down. I take my piece that measures five by four, put it in my scoreboard, score this at one and an eighth, and then I'll score it again at one and three eighths. Then I'll bring my pad back in. And at this point, all I'm going to do is take some glue and I'm gonna glue the back down. So I'll take this, I'm gonna put it on the back and I am going to place it down so that my scores actually meet up. And now I'm gonna take this and just kind of smooth it out. And I'll come back to the top smooth that down, flip that over, and you can see just how pretty that is. And then I'm going to take this little Tim Holtz metal piece and just place it down right here. And this will hold this decorative paper in place without me having to place any glue on the top part. It'll just hold everything down because it's adding weight. So I'm gonna let that dry. Then I am going to bring this back in and, and I think I'm just going to use one of my little um, snowman tags. I think it's very cute and it's going to work on here. So I'm going to take my glue and we're going to get this stuck down just like that. I'm going to press it down so that it stays. Come over here and get this glue worked in so that'll stay down. Then I'm going to come back with this cute little Merry Christmas banner. Place that right there. And I think that is just so cute. So now we're going to take our pad and we're going to work it through and get it placed. So all I need to do is guide it through the top and then guide it through down here. Bring it all the way down. And you can see that we have got a beautiful, beautiful notepad. But we are not finished because we need to decorate the outside of this cutie. And we are going to do that using some of our fun fur. So I am going to bring in my fur trim. And you're going to need about eight and a quarter inches. But what I am going to do is just cut this a little long. And then I'm going to come back and trim it after I have glued it down. So what I'm going to do is come in with my glue gun. Get a good bead of glue going. because I don't want this coming up. Then I am going to take my fur and get it placed down. Just like that. I can come back and I am going to snip off the excess just like that. Snip off the excess here. And then what I did on the other one was I came back and I gave it just a little bit of a trim. Now you don't have to do this, but I didn't want all of that overhang on the edge. So I just came back and I snipped some off because I wanted to keep it just a little bit under control. But you don't have to, if you wanna keep it fluffy, you can, but I just wanted to have mine just kinda of lay flat or you can fluff it up just like that. Either way guys, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so I am going to come back with my silver stickers because I'm all out of gold. Boo, yes, I'll have to get some more. And I am going to place my silver stickers. So I am going to do it exactly like I did the other one. And I made sure that I had enough letters before I started doing this. So I'm gonna come in, pop these up. And there's one. letters are a little bit old so I'm gonna have to put some glue on the back of this one then I'm gonna take this one and just kind of turn it this way grab another O and just make it follow suit with the first H and then I'm gonna come back with another H 
to put some glue on the back of this one as well. And you guys don't have to use stickers. You can use your die cutting machines, whatever you have. But for those of you who don't have a die cutting machine, this is a great way of getting the look. So I'm gonna take this one, place it down right there. Grab another O. And we're gonna get that stuck down just like that. And we have got another fun, gorgeous little Mrs. Claus bag. And there's one more thing that I want to do. So I have this really thin strip of black ribbon and I'm going to place it right there just to give us a little bit of an authentic look with that black strip. I am going to take my glue and just run a very thin strip, nothing too wide, just very thin from the top to the bottom. Then I am going to take this thin black ribbon, place it in my glue, and just kind of pull it tight until it really, really grabs in. And then I'll come back with my bone folder and I'm just gonna work that glue in. And you can see just how adding that little strip. It's not even a large strip, but it does create a different little look. And I'm trimming off the excess. And guys, now we have another fabulous, absolutely fabulous Mrs. Claus notepad. And it's refillable. So for all of you guys who have been really, really interested in having a way to refill these notebooks, here's the way that you do it. Use. And I am going to bring in the other one so you can see just how gorgeous these little statement makers are. Have you seen anything else like it on YouTube? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm going to toot my own horn on this. This is fabulous. This is fabulous. And I hope that you guys will pick up some of this fur, get some red paper, cut out your letters or get some stickers, whatever it is you want to do, and make up some of these to sell either at your craft fair or to give as Secret Santa gifts or to give just as gifts. Whoever gets it is going to love it because these are fantastic. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed today's project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. We're doing some amazing things. I think you would agree. Y'all have a great day. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.